So I've got a very interesting job today. Um, heading to Warrenora Dam to do a job for the Department of Defence, Australian Defence Force. So this one is going to be a little interesting because um, what we've got to do is beam uh, internet from the shore to a pontoon in the middle of the dam and then beam it from another pontoon to another pontoon. So this should be an interesting job. So I'll get this contact here when I pull up this into. How you going, mate? You Lachlan? No, no, Lachlan. Lachlan. That's already got his number. I'm, I'm doing. Do give him a call. Is he from the or something? No, nah, he's from the Department of Defence. It's all right, mate. No worries. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, I will call this guy now, and then he's going to let me in. So that was just some security guard. Probably having a bludge. Because he took off as soon as I spoke to him. Okay, so basically, I've got to get a. Um, I'm going to put one of the beams up here, right? And then we're going to beam that from there over to this barge in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the dam. So, so in the this is the main demountable on the shore. So our first one's been configured. All right, so I've got my P1 there, and then from there. Bom bom. Got to beam it across to there. Got the aircon on in here. It's a bloody pleasure. All right, so number two configuration. Here we go. All right, so I got them configured now, and it's working. So we're getting internet now coming into our access point one. Alright, so that is going into this power injector here. Alright, and then this one here then is going into the router. And then I've got out of this one here, which is bridge one, then I've got that coming out of this power injector going directly into my computer. So that means if you see down here. We're not on the Wi-Fi, it's working directly over the Ethernet port, which means these two have been configured to talk to each other now. Right, so these devices can shoot out at 15 kilometres. Now I've set it to the highest power um, level, so uh, you know it's not 15 Ks, but you know it's at least uh, a few hundred metres. So next thing I want to do now is set up the Netgear router, so that's all done. Right, so I'll configure these now to work with this router. 
And then once that's done, that's number one done, then I'll go over here onto the barge and then we'll do exactly the same process again, but out of this router. So we'll set up this and then we'll shoot the internet from this one to the second barge. Fun times. All right, so there's a the little Nighthawk AC 1200. Just the router, the router. Basically that's it, so I'm gonna configure this now and then make sure the Wi-Fi passes out of this so they can use it in their office in the middle of the dam. Right, well, that was one of the easiest routers I've ever had to configure. Basically just plug the thing in and uh, it did it itself. So, okay, so I've mounted up the beam here. They've got an antenna that they're not using anymore, so they've disconnected the end of that antenna. And then I've passed the Cat 6 cable through the demountable shed and then basically I've got that popping out one of these holes here All right so there and all that router is configured now um, the neck gear router so basically all this has to do now is plug into the yellow port the first available yellow port on the back of this and then that should be that. So because everything's pre-configured, now I can take the whole lot over to the barge in the middle and then just plug everything in and it should work. As long as we can get this nano boom to line up with the other nano boom, happy days. So what I'm gonna do now is for UV ray protection, we're gonna put this CAT uh, 6 cable inside a conduit, okay? Now to feed it through the conduit, there's usually a little clip on the end here. Okay, so if you're feeding that through and you need to pull it back, that will get caught on the rigid, on the uh, little grooves inside the conduit and it'll just rip it straight off. So usually I'll put a bit of tape on that to make it all nice and smooth to pass through the conduit. Okay, okay so I've got the conduit feeding through there now. And basically I will put my end in and then we'll cable tie all that up so it's all nice and neat and it's not going to flap about in the wind. All right. Okay, now that part's completed. See, I've got the, uh, the conduit on there. So that will keep the UV rays off that Cat 6 because that's a that'll just eat through it and it'll be dead in a, in a couple of years. So that'll give it a lot longer lifespan. Okay, so this end now, all we've got to do is plug this end into the router. So basically, got our AP to include into here. And the ejector, put this into actually, I'll have a so I'll keep it. that one there. We'll plug the sucker into here. That's it. That part's done. So now, on the boat going over to the next location. So there's our thing mounted up there. number one and uh, this is the little laboratory where we're going to be uh, bringing the internet to. You can see over there So viewers from out of the country, and uh, not at not Sydney, this is Sydney's drinking water. So this is the dam, Laurinora Dam, where uh, all our Sydney siders get our water from. And it is about 98, 99% full at the moment, which is pretty healthy. All right, so I plugged it all in, and boom, look at that, internet lights on. I've just done a test and we're getting 23 megabits here which is the same as what we're getting at the other side. So those things are working on a chart. 
Moving that out across the board up, how cool is that? I'm stoked with that. So I'll set the laptop up and I'll show you if it's all open. All right, so I'm sitting in the middle of the dam. And then, let's see what happens here. Twenty-three megabits a second. All right, so that was a big, big success. So these things are awesome. Stoked. Bugger off, Teams viewer. All right, so happy days. So that's all they're getting here because they've got satellite internet. They don't have like a proper MBN connection. MBN just connected a satellite form. So when you're first setting these things up, um, basically what you need to do is put your injector in and then out of, let's see here, the port with the red, right, that goes through to the bridge system, right, and the light should come on, and then out of the LAN port of that, then I have it going through into my computer, into the... Um, Ethernet jack there. Then I've got to go in, change the IP address of the computer, right? Um, and then I've got to, once I've done that, then I can start configuring this device, right? Then once I've configured that one, then I've got to set the other one up, leave this one plugged in, configure the other one, join them together um, using the application, and then they should pass internet, and we set up the internet, and then configure the router, all right? All right, so step number two. Now I've got that connected and we are getting internet going directly into the PC from this one. So how it's working now, <laughs> sort of complicated a little bit. So we've got the one that's over there, booming the internet to there, which is going into the WAM port of this, All right? Then out of port number one on the back, that's coming out of there, going into this access point one here, which goes across to the bridge here, and out of that bridge on the green cable is then going into my computer, all right? So then, if you see down here, it's connected via Ethernet, not Wi-Fi, so it's not connecting to Wi-Fi to this. So if I play Family Guy, cheeseburger, but I'm gonna go ahead. We're working, all right, so I've got internet, so now, I need to set up this other router. So that will be for the other end, down there, the other pontoon. All right, so that's the thing now, get this one set up, and then that's it. Then I'll just install everything um, and put it all in conjugate and make it all nice and neat, and happy days. Uh, quite a complicated little network setup, but uh, it's done the job. They've had uh, quite a few other people out here try to solve the problem and they could never do it. They tried all different other things. And boom, boom, that's why they get the uh, get the specialist in, because you can get it sorted. All right, so now just configuring the sucker. All right, get it Nicky, and then uh, getting there, getting towards the end. Okay, so next power boom's up, facing down there. And then I've got all that in here. This one now is all on its conduit. So at the final end, um, got all that set up here now, and we're getting 23 megabits um, from the router here. Right, and then, so we've got this one here set up here, on this end, pointing back to the other one that's over there. And uh, that's it, Friday afternoon, time to go home. So absolute success, boys are coming to pick me up down the boat. Take me back to shore, happy Friday. That's it, safely back on shore. Happy days, what a cool job.
Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. Alright, thank you very much. Goodbye.